So welcome back friends. Boy, I have to say my my toupee is looking a little long in the tooth. I might need to, what do you think? Is it, is it not like real? Might need to, might need to get another one coming. Anyway, so I want to give a quick update of, uh, uh, of, of the trip. So we just got back uh, from the air, airport, uh, from our trip to Nebraska, uh, where we, uh, it was really wonderful. We got to uh, uh, go spend some time with uh, the family on, my, on Mrs. W's side, and, and it was really a treat. Uh, we stayed at her folks' house, but her uh, twin brother, uh, Sean and Christina, and their kids were able to come in. They live in Amsterdam, uh, come in, and we all met together and, and got to do a lot of fun things together. And it's always great to see them. We don't get to see them enough, and uh, uh, so we really treasure, treasure those moments. But I wanted to talk a lot. I was going to do a manly manners and, and kind of a couple other things, and I got to thinking, I wanted to share a conversation that we had last night with Sean and Christina after dinner, and uh, this topic came up of um, being able to go home. We know, you know, we've, we've all heard that saying, you can never go home, uh, and I have, you know, I've heard that, and I haven't given it a whole lot of credence or really thought about it, because it didn't, I didn't really feel like it applied to me. Like, I don't really understand that, because I, I can go home. I, I can go home um, to my parents, uh, to the to my childhood home where they still live. And Mrs. W was the same way. She can still go back um, to her, her parents who are still happily, very happily married um, in the childhood home that they grew up at. And, and that's, that, that uh, sense of um, stability, that sense of, uh, of security is something that plays into, I think, your overall ability to have a happy and peaceful life. The reason why I say that is, is some years ago we were, we'd ran into a woman that was a, a social worker. She worked with a lot of people that were having you know, emotional and difficult problems. And uh, we were kind of getting acquainted and getting to know each other and we were sharing about our, our lives and such. And, and she stopped us and said, do you two realize how rare of a thing that you have? And I said, w what do you mean? And, and she said, the fact that you have, you both of you come from uh, families uh, that are still intact, with uh, your parents are still married, and 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 your and that they still live in these same th the homes that you were raised in. She said, "You don't have any idea of how many hundreds of people that come through uh, that feel so unmoored and so um, uh, n nothing to hold on to and, and drifting and, and aimless in life, because they're many of them, if not all of them, have come from." broken homes, so homes that were divorced or moving around or, or f mothers or fathers that have left. And that um, pays, uh, uh, it affects them for, for their entire life. And, and I, I guess after hearing, hearing that and, and talking to her and, and having that conversation <clears throat> with my brother-in-law last night about that, it gave me a real appreciation um, to my parents, and I felt I felt I felt really filled with gratitude. So, you know, sometimes it's hard to to say the things that you want to say, and especially your, show your appreciation and thanks to to your folks and loved ones in face to face. So, I, I wish I would have done it while I was there, but I, I sometimes I just I don't know why I just don't seem to have the courage to do it, or I, I don't feel comfortable doing it. So I'm going to do it here publicly because you both watch the videos. So, uh, to Vince and and Shustin, I want to thank you for raising. Um, and providing a home, um, that, that raising a son and daughter that have made wonderful spouses and made some, several people and several children very, very happy. And the same thing to my folks. And I know that sacrifices were made, and I know sometimes it would have been easier just to throw in the towel and, and to pursue your own interests and your own desires and wants ahead of that of your family, but they didn't do that. And the fact that they didn't do that um, has given us a sense of... of peace and, and security um, and, um, and I guess knowing where we come from and a, a higher quality of life uh, that I don't think could be attained, um, could, that couldn't have happened without that. So I guess the reason I'm talking about this is that um, when we were out, one of the most common questions that I received from folks, not so much in emails, but well, sometimes, but when folks, if we meet folks that enjoy the channel and have watched the videos for some years, they'll say, you know what we really enjoy is that we enjoy, um, uh, it seems that to be a contentment or a peace that comes through the, the videos, and especially, not so much on the ones where you do in the wood shop and that stuff, but especially we like the ones where you include the family. And the interesting thing about those is those videos don't typically, they don't typically uh, get a ton of views. 
but the, what's very different about them is that they generate a ton of responses. So I can do a video on uh, testing, you know, the cheapest whatever on Amazon, and those get good numbers. Um, but uh, the the ones that re that I receive the the most feedback from, in regards to like personal letters and and personal emails, um, and where you you just get this flood of emotion coming in from people, are those particular videos. And the common thread that runs through that is that we enjoy these because they're calming. We enjoy these because it seems that you guys have such a peace in your life, a peace in, 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 in your, your relationship. And, and it just, it, it's comforting, it's quieting, and it just it calms me down when I watch them. And, I, and I, I think that's a wonderful compliment, and I wanna pay that compliment, and I, I guess the reason for that, I think, by and large, after thinking about this conversation that we had last night, uh, was that um, having that security um, of, of, of our parents, um, and, and they, it, it, the thing that I want to tell you is that if you are struggling with, with your relationship um, and, and, and you think it might just be easier to bail out, it's one thing to do that, I think, if, if, you're, if there aren't children involved. Um, I, I would not condone it, and, and I would certainly say, you know, you know, maybe you feel this way now, but just stick in there and, and hang, it, hang in there. Um, and oftentimes if you show affection, you'll get affection back. I, I, I get messages from guys that say, you know, my wife is just, she just, she doesn't love me anymore. She doesn't treat me well. And, and, and sometimes you're going to run into situations where you've just maybe married the wrong person or you just have married a person that's broken and incapable of reciprocating that, that emotion, that need that you, that, or that those feelings and, and that nurturing spirit that you need. Uh, but I think the lion's share of it, if you start to sh express that and, and it, instead of circling your wagons and, and having hurt feelings and, and, and doing kind of a tit for tat relationship, if you just start expressing that kindness and expressing that love that most times, nine times out of 10, that it's going to re reciprocate back, back to you. So in closing on the flight back home, I was, I, I was, I was considering uh, what you know, Sean and I were, were talking about last night and you know, he asked me, so what, 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 what's your future plans for the channel? You know, what are you, what are you going to, what do you, where, where, do you, where do you want it to be? Where do you want it to go? And, and I, it kind of reminded me that how I've kind of lost track of why I originally started the channel and what my original passion was. And my passion has always been the importance of the family, uh, not only for my own happiness, my own well-being, and the well-being of my children, uh, but uh, society as a whole. It. It seems like now more than ever, um, the families uh, are, traditional families are under attack. And I really believe that the family is the underpinning of society. And if the family can be destroyed and, and broken up, then uh, I don't think a civilization or a culture can stand. So what do I want to do with the channel and, and where, where do I want to take it from here on out is, is I want to really get back to that and put an emphasis on on the importance of relationships, the importance of the the, the importance of a family. So I, I want to do a lot more um, videos. that are going to be including Mrs. W and including the kids. And, and it may not be what we've done in the past, and it may not be what a lot of folks consider to be traditional homesteading. And and some folks get upset that well they want to categorize you. I'm like, well, you know, we liked it when you did this, and we want to see axes, we want to see that, and and that's fine. There'll always be that that element of it. But I think the most more important thing, um, even if the views are not there, is uh, uh, is p pushing that 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 point uh, of encouraging people and and helping them along. I think. I know for me, if I can see someone that's doing some something well and, and they're successful at it, it um, it inspires me, and I'll em emulate those things, and I'll I'll look I'll look why is it that this person is doing well in this particular thing, and and I I, I don't know I'm, I'm not smart enough to invent, reinvent everything and do it on my own, so I'm I've, of, I've often seen things that and people that were successful at them, and I've copied that. So I guess what I would like to do is, and I'm not saying that we have the perfect family, because we don't. We do the best we can, but um, it, it's important to me. It's important to me, and um, yeah, this video is all over the place. I don't really know what I wanted to say. I wanted to, say, I wanted to thank our parents, um, and I wanted to give you encouragement and, and invite you to join us, and, um, and we'll lift one another up. You know, the thing that's so wonderful about a marriage and and our, ours in particular is that 
you know, I have good days and I have bad days, and sometimes I have bad days, and, and it's just, it's, it's amazing how, how God has provided me a partner that uh, seems to be strong on the days that I'm weak, and, and, and that flips, and I seem to be strong on the days that she's weak, and I can carry her on those difficult days, and she can carry me on those difficult days, because you can't, you can't always be a rock all the time, and uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes you need to lean on someone, so I want to provide our family uh, a place for you guys to lean on uh, if you're having trouble, and to know that um, um, that we're all we all want the same thing. We all want happiness. We all want the best for our kids. We we all want to have peace in our life, and that um, I will uh, redouble. I want to redouble the efforts and and make sure that we kind of get back to that foundation and and not to lose focus and uh, and. And to get through life the best we can. I really appreciate everything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, for giving me your uh, time for my rantings. And uh, special thanks to our parents. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.